Welcome back to Professor Epps. I am Stephanie Epps. On this channel, we talk all things self-care, mindfulness, mindset, money, and movement. In today's video, I am sharing with you a budget with me. We will be budgeting um, some side hustle money. I think it's about $910 and we will have a little bit of sinking funds and there is some happy mail that came in from the black friday small business saturday shopping that i did last week so if this is something that you're interested in join me here let's get started we will start with no spend days y'all we recapped last week and the first half of the month i did well with my no spend but as y'all can see, getting into Thanksgiving, it kind of went downhill, picked back up um, the 27th of November, the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. On the 1st, which was yesterday, I went to Marshall's and spent like 200 and something dollars that I did not plan for. And car maintenance. I went to the car dealership um, to have some light bulbs changed out. And unfortunately, there was a crack in one of the belts. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was a crack in a belt. And so my bill was about 500 and something dollars, which was unexpected because of the car maintenance. I think I told y'all a couple weeks ago, I had to get a, a tire, I had a flat tire. Um, because of the car issues that I have had, I have started uh, sinking funds. I'm not including a lot of money in sinking funds, but just a little bit because there is a need. I usually focus on debt payoff with the zero-based budgeting, but we are adding in some sinking funds. So let's get started with today's budget, or this week's budget. And we're budgeting side hustle. Usually, as y'all know, if you have joined before, um, side hustle money usually goes to um, just all debt. We're going to incorporate we're going to um, spread the side hustle money across some debt, a little bit of utilities, um, weekly variable expenses, and sinking funds. So let's do it. Okay, so of course, y'all know debt payoff is something that I always provide money for. I, I allocate funds to. So this week, we're going to allocate $400 for debt. And utilities, cell phone bill. I think we have, I don't know, one, two, three, three or four lines and a couple of devices. And so that cell phone bill is 218. Okay. All right, so we're already at over halfway of that 910. So this is a quick budget with me because debt takes up most of that. Let us continue. We do have subscriptions, which would be my Peloton membership. My mom uses um, the, the app and uh, my kiddo does as well. My husband has an account, but he does not use it at this point, but it's $44. I have a Peloton uh, bike and treadmill and that $44 covers the membership up to four people. So. I believe in health and wellness. I work out five to six days a week. I think yesterday I hit 600 rides with Peloton. So $44 well spent and I am not looking to change that at this point. I did cancel Audible in November and I think in October I canceled Kindle. Those are the other two like subscriptions that I had. So outside of Peloton, I don't think I have any other like true subscriptions. Let's go into the weekly expenses. Gas, y'all know I drive a lot for work. I have always driven for work and I'm okay with it. I budget about $100 a week for gas. My goal is to be able to um, have about $20 left over. So like $80 a week is what I prefer to spend, but you never know what might happen. So I always give myself a little buffer there, a little extra. Next is my kiddo. She receives $15 a week that we can use for whatever she might want to use it for. 
if it's a snack after school, if we go into the Walmart or Ingles, Target, you know, whatever store, and she wants something, then she can um, buy it from the $15. Whatever money we don't use from that $15, we put into her sinking funds envelope. I think she has about $41 so far in the sinking funds envelope for an activity that we're going to hopefully go to over the uh, December school break. So for this week, we have uh, gas, my kiddo, and spending. Usually, like between spending, household, like groceries, if you will, I give myself um, $100 to divide between those. And um, this week, it's just gonna be $30. We're cutting back. We went grocery shopping last week. I think I, I, think I told y'all about that. We went to Sam's, Aldi, um, Target. I got everything we needed. So $30 should be enough to cover the week. And if it's not, that means that we don't need it. Okay, so let's continue on here. Um, next is sinking funds. But before we get into sinking funds, let's see what our remaining balance is. Let's find calculator, Pearl. This is Pearl calculator. All righty, so we're gonna start with 910. And we're going to deduct um, our debt payment of $400. From there, we're going to deduct um, utilities. Cell phone bill was $218. Subscriptions, my Peloton membership, $44. Weekly expenses, $100 for gas. $15 for my kiddo. And then um, $30 for spending. I don't think that's correct, y'all. Let me let me let me do this again. All right, nine ten. Okay, minus four hundred, minus two eighteen, minus forty four, minus one hundred, minus fifteen, minus thirty. There we go. One hundred three. One hundred three dollars remaining is what we have to disperse for sinking funds, which you probably think $103 is not a lot, but a little bit goes a long way over time. Let me move my calculator to the side, y'all. Okay, so sinking funds. Um, car maintenance. Car maintenance is the reason I actually started um, proceeding with some sinking funds because of little things that have popped up. So car maintenance is going to get $20, okay? Um, beauty, you're probably like, why are you gonna put more in beauty than car maintenance? Um, face wash, you know, face cleanser, it all adds up. So $23 for beauty. Our dog, Gracie May, we're going to um, give her $10. It adds up over time, her dog food, her vet bills, things like that. From there, we're going to include travel. Travel, we're gonna give $20, not a lot, but it does add up. Entertainment, so activities, going out, perhaps um, saving up for a concert or something like that, $20. And gifts. Gifts can be used for family, for friends, parties, and so forth, that's gonna get $10. So let's make sure that our income and expenses balance out to zero. Zero-based budgeting, every dollar has a job. Let's do it, okay? Nine, 10, that was the side hustle money, minus um, 400, minus 218, Minus 44, minus 100, minus 15, minus 30, minus 20, minus 23, subtracting 10, 20, 20, and 10 gives us zero. Every dollar has a job. And let me tell y'all, when I do not follow the zero-based budgeting, your girl is out here living her best life, 
doing all of the things, spending all of the money. With that being said, I'm thinking um, about either either um, publishing another video on Monday, recapping Black Friday spending because I just did not have a budget. I was just shopping, y'all. So I'm um, just sharing those things with you all. Let me know how, how you all did on the Black Friday Small Biz Saturday. Were you out there shopping or did you stick to your budget? I think I might record a video and, and just let y'all know what I purchased um, and um, what I was even thinking about when I was shopping. I don't know. Anywho, let's unstuff this wallet here. Um, let's do it. You don't know, I have a cash tray, which I actually have yet to use with cash stuffing or cash unstuffing. It has envelopes and mail. It's kind of a mail holder rather than a cash holder. And what else do we have here? Three gates. So this is the $15 for my daughter. We're gonna put um, whatever we don't use. We go, um, we put in the Baddies and Budgets Savings Binder. I think I shared it last week. Uh, we are now saving up to have some plumbing done in our home that'll be about three to $5,000. So whatever money does not get spent with variable expenses will go into these binders. Also, I save uh, my wands. All of the wands goes into the mason jar as well as the change. So let's see what we have here, 20, 40, 60. Um, this is all messed up, y'all. I should like redo this. I think I will. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. I should really use that cash tray. It's sitting right here, y'all. Do y'all ever do that? Where you have something readily available and you just don't get it. I don't know. Let's count what we have left over. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 5, 1, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 120. I think that's right. So let's put our 20s to the side. 10s and 5s. Let's Alrighty, let's see what we have here. We had, what, $80 in 20s. Let's go to our binder. What can we put in the binder here? Is there an $80? I think there is an $80 one somewhere. Maybe not in this one. I guess not. We'll put these 20s in here. I do not have a referral code or any of that stuff to any of the products that I use, but I'm happy to link them below. Y'all can check out the companies. Baddies and Budgets, um, I really like uh, her items. I also like the Aesthetic Dollar. Um, I have bought several things from the Aesthetic Dollar and I have a A5 binder coming. Speaking of which, I will also order um, some documents from Papers by Jessica Ann, I think it is. And that's gonna be um, to replace these printed sheets from Canva. It's, it's more refined and clear and I'm gonna be using it for my business and I'll see what I think about it from a business standpoint and may incorporate using it for personal as well. We've got some fives here to put in the binder. Are y'all saving even though it's the holiday season? Are you still finding time to save some money? Or is everything being spent out giving to others or even treating yourselves? We have one more five. And then we have a ten dollar here. The washing machine that we bought last week it has not uh, come in yet, but I'm looking forward to when it arrives. Our washer that we currently have, yes, it still works, but y'all, 
it takes what feels like 17 days to wash the clothes. Literally, the express, the express um, option takes like an hour and a half or longer. I'm gonna take our change out. I have a little coin purse here. I save all coins and dollars. I'm thinking about transitioning um, the coins to a smaller, a smaller mason jar. What do y'all think? Should I leave the coins and the dollars together in the large mason jar, or should I transfer the coins to a smaller one? Also, y'all. Last week, I shared that I got this new um, pre-loved wallet, um, Louis Vuitton, <laughs> excuse me, uh, PM Agenda, which I love it. I shared that I had ordered um, the Giglio Larger 16 um, rings. I changed out the rings. I watched so many videos, and let's just say it was not as easy as some people tried to make it out to be, in my opinion but I got it changed out and I love these larger rings. Let me show y'all the smaller ones. So these are the original rings that came with the agenda, which I'm using as a wallet. Oop, I dropped a penny, whoopsie. And as you can see, this is much, much, much larger. And yes, uh, I do keep my receipts. Some receipts are for my business, some are personal. I scan receipts into Fetch. I will put my Fetch rewards code in the description. If you sign up, you get extra points, I get extra points. And those um, scan receipts go towards um, gift cards to different places, Amazon, Target, so forth. Let's see how many wands are we gonna put into the mason jar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I hope I didn't take my child's money, y'all. I think I may have taken her money. I think I did. I'm gonna have to take that $15 out. That $15 does not go in the savings binder. That was my daughter's $15. I like to be a woman of my word. So we're moving 10 and five. This A6 binder is from the Aesthetic Dollar and I use the A6 binder for my sinking funds. I have to get the cash from the bank in order to actually stuff my sinking funds which will be another point in time. But I will go ahead and put my kiddo's money in here. I told y'all last week she was stuffing it so full with like singles and stuff I had to condense it and it broke. So I have another um, envelope with her name coming, coming soon. I ordered from the same company, um, Trains Plans, I believe it is. She has Etsy. I'm not sure if she has a website or not, but she definitely has an Etsy and she has Instagram and she is here on YouTube as well. So there we go. Last but not least, let us open some happy mail. This is one of the things I ordered from the Small Business Saturday, Black Friday. This is from Etsy. The company is the Modern Budgeter. This is my first time ordering from her. Okay, can I get into it? Yes. Oh, so these are for my sinking funds. Um, oh, this is the invoice. Yeah, I'll keep that to the side. Let's see, this is for my sinking funds. This is a nice little packaging. As we work towards getting those sinking funds to gold. Let's see what it say. I'm not high maintenance, I'm low budget fabulous. Oh, I love that, that's cute. 
I'll put that on my computer. Yeah. So here we are. There's a 500, 500, 500, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So these are placeholders, which, I mean, with putting $20 and $10 here and there, it's going to take some time to get to the point where I use the placeholders and uh, actually deposit the cash into the bank. But they were on sale, good deals. I love to support a small business. And so, yeah, aren't these nice? The quality feels really nice. I love the writing, it's clear. I will link her Etsy in the description. Y'all wanna check out the Modern Budgeter. Yeah. Thank y'all for joining today. Let me know how is cash stuffing? How is budgeting going? Are you making progress with your budget? Are you able to stick to the no spend days? I told y'all I'm trying my best. January is coming though, and I will be going hard in January with no spend outside of my kiddo's birthday because, I mean, we're going to spend for the birthday, for the birthday party. Thank y'all for joining. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to y'all joining in the next video. Bye.